Welcome back to RimWorld, last episode, a toxic, some sort of some sort of chemical spell or nuclear bomb or whatever, to create a toxic fallout is what I'm getting at, and we're now trapped indoors for the rest of eternity, or at least until it disappears, because it's not quite safe to go outside, although you can go outside and sort of like short bursts and wing it a little bit, I don't want to have to worry about the micromanagement, plus it gives us a nice different game bit play sort of dynamic for a while, where we can sit inside and have a, have a nice day, so... So you pointed out that A, the vents were open, so the vents are now closed, and B, that this area was unroofed, and that is now roofed. So don't worry, we're good. We're not going to get completely uh, killed now. What, what's happening here? Why aren't they mining? Hey, do you want to go mine? We don't, need to, we don't need to bamboozle that off, do we? We don't need to block that off for a while. Uh, the queen has nothing to do, really? Why can't you? Outside allowed area. Oh. Right, so this is the one downstairs doing it like this. Obviously, we do have to remember to give them access to very particular areas. Now, what I am going to do... Um, just so our coolers can still vent to a decent area, I'm going to say, let's go ahead and build a structure. Um, how are we going to do this? We'll build it there. Because obviously, uh, otherwise our, our, our heater is going to overheat. And it's actually overheating already. It's at 9 degrees now. So what we want to do is we want to do that. We want to build a copy of that there. We want to remove the roof. Oh, shit. All the way around, genius. We want to remove the roof out into this hallway here so that that can still vent out. So let's go ahead and do that before we do anything else. Otherwise, we're going to run out of food very, very quickly. And seeing as we're in the toxic area, it's probably not the best plan. Right. Uh, Jerry King, I need you to go and outside a loud area. Are you, are you, are you cheesing my onions right now, Jerry King? Uh, toxic protection. Right. There we go. Get to it, my good friend. So he's going to remove the roof from there. He's going to hopefully come over and build this immediately so we're not getting, um, obviously, you know, toxic waste. Need wood. Oh, my God. We're going to have to build it out of limestone or something. Okay, fair enough. You know what? That's my mistake. I apologize, Jerry King. I can't blame you for this one, my friend. Wall, uh, what do we want? We want limestone. So another good thing about this is going to give Aurang plenty of time to uh, continue his research. Speaking of which, what's he... Wait, what are they doing right now? Why aren't you working? Praying? Oh, right, because this is... Oh, interesting. Okay. So this is marble walls, which is fine. Um, you've just got to be careful sometimes. I don't know if I've talked about this before. We can get ancient dangers, which appear in sort of this size rooms. Now, I'm pretty sure I've noticed one earlier. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this up here is an ancient danger. So if you open that up, if you remove those walls, there can be, you know, people inside it, mechanoids inside it, you know, sort of old abandoned caskets, that type of thing. So you do have to be very, very careful here. Although this works quite nicely because I was thinking to myself, we are going to need ourselves a... Uh, a sort of armory, so that all the prisoners are fighting on equal terms, the same armor, the same weapon, probably a sword, let's be honest, so that, uh, so that they're not going to get any any advantages that they don't deserve. Nice, okay, Elrang, what are you up to right now, my good friend? You are pr praying. Okay, have we got any research on the go? We do. Hydroponics. What we probably want to do then is, if we've got enough for it, build him an advanced research table. Yeah, there we go, this is what we're after. Um, what about, what if we knock through and turn this into a research room? Just because we haven't really got much room anymore. Um, unless we dismantle this first. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that. So we're going to go ahead. Not not knock through necessary, but we're going to build a wooden door there. Uh, we're going to... Yeah, we might as well dismantle these. We'll select similar. We don't need a prison immediately anyway. Um, just because I feel like it's probably not going to be relevant for a while anyway. Let's go ahead and allow them to actually go over there. And we'll, we'll put him a little lab for himself. So that, uh, so that he can work peacefully and efficiently. In a little uh, little place of his own there. Alrang's Alrang's lab, if you will. Sounds a little bit strange. Jerry King, uh, in, in a sign of disrespect, they're vomiting all over Alrang's new lab. Apparently, we've struck compacted steel as well. Hey, that's really, really good news. Because steel was obviously something we were really struggling to get there. Is this... This is indoors. Nice. Okay. This is all still unroofed. So, the easiest way to tell that is if you look over here, you'll see it says outdoors or indoors or unroofed, depending on where your mouse is. So, if you look here, that is unroofed. Uh, six tiles there are unroofed. That's three inside of those coolers. Is this working very effectively? Uh, well, the fridge is cold, so I can't complain too much. Now, it's a shame you can't reinstall coolers. We can't just move this one along to the ventilation, but that's fine. Um, we can't really yet vent this one into this, this corridor because it's just going to heat the entire house up. So probably what we want to do is deconstruct that. If we get Jerry King on that immediately and start him immediately reconstructing this one instead. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Just because the fridge isn't cooling as efficiently as I'd like it to be. We don't have to worry about electricity specifically, but if these break down, we can't get out there for a very long time. We've got a raid. Uh, she's got a gun. Oh, shit. Todd, the paramedic. Okay. Um, this is a concern. Why is this a concern? Well, I mean, someone's going to have to go out there and take kill her dead. It also is a concern because we've just removed the freaking bed out of the prison. So our rang's lab is going to have to wait a little bit longer just in case we can actually recruit this person. Right. This could be our first additional colonists this could be this could be great for us um let's go ahead and put a bed here 
Right, I need Jerry King, you to build that immediately. Everqueen, you need to come and stand at this doorway, my friend. And what we'll do, this is how we're going to do it. Wait for them to get a little bit closer. Where are they? They're all the way over there. Are they going to... Yeah, they're waiting a while before they attack. Now, they will go ahead and sabotage our windmills. They'll destroy our water supply, things like that. So we do need to stop them before they uh, get a little bit out of hand. But I also don't want them to die so far away that we have to drag their body all the way back. I'd kind of like them to come a little bit closer before we take them out. Now, again, Everqueen, please, for the love of God, don't murder them. This could be our first arena contestant, Todd, the paramedic, who will get, obviously, when we kill these, uh, or when we defeat them, they will earn themselves a new name, like, sort of like the Unsullied. Um, but they have to they have to prove themselves first. The local monkey has gone mad. Um, thank fuck for that. I genuinely thought she was going to die to the monkey, right? Everqueen, we're going to poke your head out the door. So you're not in the toxic fallout for too long. You know what? Just just quick. Okay, here we go. Line it up. A good shot. Nice one. Clean shot. Careful. The hydroponics finish. She's fucking dead. Everqueen. And she's happy about it. You absolute psychopath. Needs. Killed someone. Plus 12. My god, I hate you. Okay, get back indoors. For the love of god. Um, Actually, saying that not everybody has a gun. Um, There's one that has a revolver. Arang has nothing. Right. In instead... I would like you, if you don't mind, to uh, let's allow things across the map. Let's just go ahead and pick up the auto pistol quickly now, because we want this toxic fallout to settle in. Hydroponics are great because they're going to allow us to grow crops indoors. That's obviously incredibly, incredibly good. Jerry King, for the love of fucking God, please finish the cooler. Don't go to bed, because otherwise... Look, the fridge is at five degrees. How long has this food got? Spoils in nine days. It's still refrigerated. It's still technically a refrigerator, but obviously we want it to be a freezer, so that the food lasts indefinitely forever. All right. That's, that's what indefinitely means if you're worried about it. Uh, let's go ahead and chuck the gun on the ground. I threw it on the ground so that Elrang can pick it up and help defend. Take up arms. It's right to bear arms with his fellow citizens of the arena. Excellent. Did Jerry King... Jerry. Jerry, we are going to fall out, my friend. We need more steel. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. These guys are going to quickly deal with that. Oh, shit. It's Prince Wo tamed. Hang on. Animals. He can haul. Oh shit, we've done it. Awesome. So when they've got a green tip, that means that they're actually trained in what they can do. So they're now going to follow their owner, who is... Um... Oh, Elrang. Elrang's their owner. So he's going to follow Elrang around when he's at work. And the dog will help haul items back to uh, back to the base. So when Elrang is carrying something, the dog will give him a hand as well. What about the monkey? Can we tame the monkey to do things? Um, we can tame the monkey to attack people. That sounds incredible. I love it. Uh, it's probably not too relevant right now, though. Do we want the monkey to get good medical care? Uh, sure. You know what? You can just have herbal medicine. This one is going to finish the cooler. The man's taking it up on himself. What a great guy. Okay. The freezer should be back in action here. They stopped opening the frigging door every 30 seconds. I might double door this so that it helps trap heat in a little bit better, a little bit more efficiently. So we'll do it like uh, like that. I don't know why that's that's done that. That's, that's absolutely horrible. Can we reinstall this light or do I have to? Yeah, nice. No, reinstall the light. Uh, put it... Put it on the end here, I suppose. Oh, we actually have to wait for the wall to be built first. Understandable. Have a great day. We have no wood. So why don't we start the limestone wall initiative? Because that's what we have. Okay, we have a fair amount of limestone. We have a decent amount of marble. All this in here is sandstone. Oh, shit. That's annoying. Um, okay, you know what? We'll start the limestone wall initiative as well. That's going to give Jerry King something to do. Because everyone else is going to be mining and taking up the uh, the place there. Arang's lab. You know what? It's back in business. Let's finish that first. Then Jerry King is going to start replacing all the walls in the base. Get to it. Nice. Let's get him that research table. Now Rank can be researching while he's trapped indoors for the next sort of few months. Let's build ourselves. Uh, we want to sort of put it on a wall where we can fit a multi-analyzer next to it, which will speed up the research. There we go. Jerry King, work on it. Yes, awesome. We must have at least some amount of materials there. Actually, probably a decent amount of materials if he can uh, start work. What do we need? Two, 250 steel. Holy shit. Have we got enough? We might just get enough, especially when we mine out this entire vein. And we've got components as well. Holy shit. The victory. Ten components. Uh, we need another 100 steel. We only need another 50 steel. Oh, shit. We've got all the components. Nice. We just went on these guys then to finish it off. Oh, wow. I didn't think that would be nearly... I thought this was going to be kind of a long-term task because we were obviously, you know, trapped inside the base and limited for resources. But nope. He's done it. The madman. Okay. Can we reconnect that? Because I really don't want... I really don't want a wire traipsing halfway across the room. Okay. We'll just go ahead and patch it in like that, I suppose. If you want to go ahead and work on that. Alrang, if you can research, I would prefer you obviously, obviously research rather than, uh, doing whatever it is you're doing now. It's Cancel that friggin' out. Reinstall that there. Awesome. Let's move the filing cabinet over because that also helps with research speed by like 5%. Yeah, research speed factor plus 5%. Now, I'm pretty sure they don't stack. I'm pretty sure you can only have one of those. Then we also want a micro analyzer. Oh, we have to research that, don't we? God, it's been so long since I played Rimworld. There we are. Moti analyzer. 4,000 research. It's going to take our friggin' ages to get that done. All right, and then we could dismantle this one. 
We are reinstalling that chair. Excellent. Like, actual progress. I like it. Look at that. He's done it. Elrang himself, the learning master, is researching. Holy shit. And is that going at a pretty decent speed? It's kind of hard to tell, to be honest, because we, we picked quite a high research job for him to do. You know what? Hey, that's not bad. For a 4,000-point research task, that's pretty good. Contaminated water. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I never thought about that. Okay, the water is full of toxic fallout, and that's what they've got to drink and and run their toilets. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, Did we ever get water treatment? Uh... Shit, I didn't think we did, did we? Uh, electric pump? Why the fuck didn't I just build one of those rather than a wind-powered one? Um, well, that is genuinely top-tier god-awful. Um, right, okay, uh, Elrang, change of, uh, change of task. I need you to immediately work on water filtration, actually. That's a much better idea, because honestly, we're gonna die. We are actually gonna die with all this toxic water we got kicking around. Okay, we've made a good start, actually, on the arena entrance. This isn't bad. I've obviously, told them to mine the rest of that, uh, all, the, all these resources that we found here and there as well. So let's go ahead and uh, just have them vein mine that out. Now, we probably want to do build another door here just to seal it up a little bit. Um, just so it, you know, otherwise this counts as a very, very ugly room. Because technically, the room expands all the way from sort of uh, into the kitchen there, all the way down into this cave. So obviously, we don't really want that too much. Nice. Okay, let's get to work on that then. Does Waltney? Ever Queen is actually going to build it? Oh, right, because Jerry King's asleep. There you go. That's a much nicer room there. That should make them all a lot happier. Ever Queen, what do you mean you've got nothing to do? Oh, outside a loud area. Shit. Right. Okay, I've got to remember to keep updating that. That's, that's actually going <laughs> to... I'm actually going to forget that pretty constantly, I will probably think. Okay. Uh, mining. Yeah, there we go. All right, nice. Now, they should be able to... Ever Queen, are you done? Are you done wandering around being a, a friggin' psychopath? There we go. Nice. Okay. Elrang, back to work on the water filtration. New feels a little bit fallouty, right? It's fallout, like toxic fallout outside. We're trapped in a building that we can't leave. The water chip has been damaged, or in this case, we never had one in the first place. And Aaron's like frantically researching so we can drink some fresh water. Besides, you know, otherwise we get uh horribly, horribly radiated. Now, has anyone taken any radiation damage yet? Not even the Ever Queen who went outside for uh, some time there. Obviously, Jerry King, the trauma savant, and he's got an old gunshot wound in his torso. We would like to get them, you know. Back up to uh, back up to full strength here, because that's actually going to be impacting Diswalkney quite heavily. Now, do we want Jerry King to continue with the limestone block replacement project? I think we do. I think it's time we actually started on that and, and stopped having such a flammable house. Plus, it will look a lot nicer. It's kind of like the poor man's marble, as I said. Like a nice white brick facade here for the rest of the building. Now, hopefully, he'll build it without deconstructing all of this previous stuff, because we don't have nearly enough limestone blocks as it stands right now. All right, Jerry King. Um, I think he is set to construct higher than mine, isn't he? Yeah, he is. So, if he can't build anything else, he will, uh... Oh, shit. Diswalkney is as well? No, Diswalkney, that's not right. You, you need to carry on mining, my friend. Um, lower those down. We'll have him mining instead. There we go. We'll set that to three and three. Okay, that's good. So, Diswalkney and the Evergreen are gonna dig out the arena. Jerry King's gonna replace the walls of the main building here. I wish you would do it a room at a time, you absolute madman. Oh, God, I think we've worked out who the real freaking psychopath is. Do you think that's appropriate to take away a single block? Elrang, the trooper, still going. Oh, you don't need to relax socially when we are literally about to die of toxic fallout, you fucking nutter. Are our crops okay? Um, I think we've lost some just based on the fact that these fields of ready-to-harvest crops have sort of started to get a little patchy. Ready-to-harvest, though. Maybe the toxic fallout doesn't affect them. Oh, God, look, the animals are dying, though. Toxic build-up extreme. Yep, all of the wildlife outside. All the monkeys are dead there. We've got... Oh, gee. Michael Jackson. Oh, we've used up all the livestone bricks, and we've managed to... What the fuck is going on there? What am I looking at right now? Um, we're going to go ahead and remove that because it's it's making my eyes hurt. Um, you know what? That's not bad. Honestly, we've made a good effort, but we've already run out of limestone bricks. So it's going to take a lot longer before we can get, you know, most of this replaced. And obviously, we can't change the outside wall either because that will just let in a flood of um, toxic toxic gases, toxic fallout. Radiation is the word I'm looking for. Just want to break into people's rooms as they're asleep to go and clean in there. Again, I feel like we've got an entire colony of psychopaths. I'm really putting Everqueen on blast, but I don't think it's appropriate when we've got Jerry King replacing room by room. We've got Diswalkney going into people's rooms as they're asleep. He's going to clean up some fucking trash on the floor. This is not normal. And Alrank, who spends 15 hours a day, apparently in his lab doing pretty much nothing else. Now, how is our water filtration going? Hey, not bad. That's off to a good start. I feel like water filtration is something I should have focused on before starting work on the arena. But you know what? This is fine. We'll be all right. Group of travelers are passing by, so you guys are going to die, basically. Um, you know, toxic buildup isn't that bad, but if they're just passing by, they're probably going to take a little bit of damage from it. My god. 
This is so tragic. We've just got rotten creatures everywhere. The corpses of elephants. It's nice. I feel like we've got a good work order now. Everyone's doing their own thing. You know, we've got Elrang who's almost finished his research there. And we'll just keep him researching during this Toxic Fallout. Because that's the most valuable use of his time. Drinking has nothing to do. Oh, outside the allowed area. God fucking damn it. Well, that's only just happened. So you know what? That's not my that's not my fault. Right, so we're going to have them dig out the uh, the central diameter of the arena here. And we'll have them move over to that direction as well. Now, I'm going to have to alter the plans based on these sort of natural caverns that we've uncovered. And, and you know, veins that we've uncovered. Things like that. So that we can... Um, we could plan a little bit more efficiently later on. Because there's no point in me saying, okay, let's build these rooms here, given that we, we might uncover a, a huge, you know, hole in the map. Like I said earlier, there's most likely going to be a big area uncovered here that would just be like regular outside that we don't have vision on yet. I will be very, very surprised if this entire chunk is all mounted. Although if that does happen, that would be incredibly good. What's the toxic fallout settled? Holy shit, we're free. We're free, guys. Um, oh, I was kind of enjoying the... Uh, the cave episode. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, restrict. Let's get everybody working then. Back to your regular nine to fives. I kind of forgot we did that. You know, they did a surprisingly good amount of work considering they were relatively uh, unrestricted. And again, unrestricted for you guys, unrestricted for the animals. I don't think there's anything else we need to fix there. Awesome. So what we need now is something to actually build the arena out of. It's, it's all well and good, you know, constantly mining the shit out. But if we've got nothing to build it out of, then, then there's not much point here. And obviously, we do want to replace the whole base with limestone or at least marble or something along those lines. So what's the plan now then? Um, I think we're going to get set Jerry King away from mining temporarily and actually get him on stone cutting to maximum priority here. So, um, as long as he's not taking it over from cooking, because obviously that's, that's very important, the ability to uh, grow crops. Diz Walton is going to be back, busy with his farms again, so he's pretty much off the mining tree. We'll have, oh, they just got into an argument, did they? Everqueen called Diz Walton a deer. Understandable. Aaron chatted about practicing chess with the other queen. Diz and the other queen chat about cute animals. Let's see what their uh, let's see what their interactions are like now. Then let's take a look at their social tabs. She really doesn't like Diz, won't he? They're they're rivals. You know, minus thirty six, minus thirty seven. Elrang likes her by eighty eight. She doesn't like him at all. She's a she's a psychopath, so she wouldn't. Um, Diz, won't he? He kind of likes, but not really. Jerry King. They've actually got a plus two. A little bit more with uh, with Jerry King there. Jerry Everqueen made something said something about botched surgeries to Jerry. Everqueen made a comment about aspen trees to Jerry. Um, what? Is she trying to imply something that maybe, you know, because obviously she had to treat Jerry King for a while when he was uh, when he was seriously sick with that rat infection. I don't think a joke about botched surgeries is appropriate, Everqueen. Finally, okay, it's only taken us about five episodes, but we've actually got clean, fresh water. Next includes the multi-analyzer, so he, hopefully he'll finish that in a second. What are you... Oh, right. I was just about to say, he's like, stood outside Aarang's door creepily. Menacingly. Um, we want to... That was my impression of Patrick, by the way. Water treatment. There we go. Okay. Um, again, I feel like this would be better at sort of in the lab, maybe. Uh, that seems more appropriate, doesn't it? So we'll go ahead and connect that up. We'll have all the water, then, pumped through the water filtration. Right? Bear with me here. And then we'll have it pumped out of the water filtration into the actual... Um, into the actual pipes going through the house here. So we'll do that instead. Then we'll have the actual pipes under the house. These ones deconstructed. So that way we're getting fresh water delivered to the water treatment. And then it has it has to run through the water treatment before it goes to, uh, to you know, our, our toilets, our sinks, our showers, that type of thing. Jerry King, sleeping. Just, Jerry, what do you mean? Why, why is the water stopped? Oh my god, he dis dismantled one pipe and then went to bed. My god, are you a fucking fool or something? Jerry, come on. Okay, he's gonna, he's gonna do that. Uh, Diz Walton, I'm gonna have to actually get you on this instead, my friend, because Diz Walton is just not reliable. When it's his bedtime, my god, nothing will stop him. Not even the fact that we have no fresh water. Fool of a man. All right. Um, now what is easier, doing this or uh, <laughs> or just setting his construction priority to be higher? Well, that's a great question. That's a great story, Mark. But honestly, I feel like this is probably just as efficient as I don't want to mess around with the um. Oh, all well, our plants dying. I don't want to mess around with his uh, his jobs again after we've finished him doing this. So why are they dying anyway? Uh, with a short lifespan. Oh, I see. They only last 4.5 days. Then you have to re-sow them. Right. Okay. You don't want fuck it then. All right. You win. You win game. Uh, Diz Walney is on the construction squad. Get to work. All right. There we go. Fresh, clean, durable water. Even Diz Walney can manage this. The uh, You know what? I keep putting him down. I keep saying that he's shit, but it actually, he's such a, he's a good multitasker now. He's really built his skills up a lot. Obviously, he's our main sort of grower. Holy shit, he uses a lot of steel. Damn, I'm so glad we stockpiled a decent amount. You know, we've still got 300 left after this thing, but it is necessary. You know, it's very important. Critical priority. Let's get that built. Prince Iwo bringing in some steel. What a great guy. 
Okay, let's take a look. See if I've wired this in properly. Okay, so that's that's good. Um, grid stock water tr is that is that working? Uh, let's just 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 see if I got everything connected. Up. So we're running there. Fresh water is going into the water treatment and pump through into the bathroom. Is it working? Well, he just used the toilet, so I assume so. Excellent. Right. Good. 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 Good work. Jerry King, when he's finished cooking, should start working on his uh, his stone cutting. There. Let's just see. Uh, these simple meals. Uh, I think maybe I've got the bill set too high because he seems to be always doing it. I might have it on pause instead. I think only on pause at five. We've got one set of meals worth left. That's probably appropriate. Again, it's dog. What the fuck? Can we, should we make some dog food? I think we can make kibble, can't we, at the butcher table? Um, yeah, make kibble is probably the best thing to do because obviously that's dog food. Suit to dogs not eating friggin' meals. My corn berries and rice meals. Oh, that sounds disgusting. Holy shit. Oh, but he is okay. He is doing it now. He's cutting us some stone blocks. Make limestone blocks. Excellent. Now, we probably want to set stone cutting higher than construction. Otherwise, he's going to cut some stone blocks, run over, build them in, run back, build them in, run back. And, you know, it's going to take ages. So let's set him to stone cutting maximum priority. Uh, we'll set cooking the same priority. So he'll cook. Then if you can't cook, he'll stone cut. And then if you can't stone cut, he will uh, construct. Okay, Everqueen's freaking out because she's underground mining all day. Need the bathroom. Slept to the cold. Darkness in tomb underground. Hideous environment. You know what? Understandable. So what I'm going to do then is if we go ahead and connect this bit up to this bit, I think that might actually get rid of some of the malices that she's got going on there. So we'll go ahead and cancel uh, all of this. The arena's... You know what? We're making good progress. We're connecting up the main arena body to the house here. It's not going too badly. Again, seeing as it was basically built entirely by the Ever Queen herself, you know what? Take the evening off or something, because you're going to start freaking out, aren't you? Um, what can we do? We'll go assign. Uh, we want to let her have Ever Queen. What time is it now? We'll let her have a couple of hours off here. Go home. Go, go home. Go and enjoy yourself. She's going to pray. Pray to God that she doesn't find herself back in that cave, I assume. Okay, fair enough. Arang, how's the multi-analyzer coming on? Then we can really start busting into the big research. We can start working on more sustainable power, like geothermal, solar. We can start... Obviously, wind is sustainable, but it's not very good. We can start working on things that are going to help the base run a bit more efficiently, like uh, some robots? How about some robots, though? We could have... Um, what's a big thing that we need to work on? I suppose just sort of the generic stuff, like like clothes tailoring, and maybe some like, like a TV to keep them happy. Turrets. That's what we need. We need friggin' turrets to keep people away from us. We line this whole thing with turrets, just keep people away, or maybe even build some some big strong blast walls or something, and sort of uh, cordon ourselves up a nice area of the uh, of the map here. We've got septic tanks. Do not drain. Sorry. Do do not drain. Oh, right. I suppose it hasn't really got much water to treat right now, eh? We'll cancel that then and have this hold back to base. If two are, uh, you know, keeping the whole grid under under wraps there, we don't necessarily need... Oh, the other queen's got the monkey sleeping in her bedroom. We don't necessarily need, um, you know, three. In fact, we probably don't need this many anyway, but we might as well just as a backup. You know, it can't hurt. Especially as we expand more, out more into the future here. I've started replacing the rest of the base there with um, with limestone. Although in hindsight, we probably don't want to replace the freezer until we've actually got the resources available. Otherwise, we'll just have... Uh... Oh, no, I'm saying that. I've got a mod enabled that allows them to replace blocks right over the top. So as they build the new wall, they'll dismantle the old one. So in theory, we should be okay, because normally they would dismantle the wall and then build the new one afterwards, rather than doing it at the same time, so all the heat would escape, or all the, all the cold would escape, or the cool would escape. Anyway, um, this should be alright to do it this way, so we're replacing all the walls there with limestone blocks, and Jerry King is basically dedicating all his time to cutting the fresh limestone blocks. Diz Waltney is more or less going to be our builder, because what I've set is, I've, I've reduced the growing areas even more, because we've literally just got, you know, crap going to fallow here, so it's, it's a bit of a waste of time. We've got Diswantley going to build up the base. Jerry King cutting the stone and the Ever Queen obviously mining. So we've got quite a nice little sort of a conveyor system going on there for materials. Elrang is still cracking on with the multi analyzer. Is it ever. Do you want to get out of his bathroom while he's trying to use it? <laughs> um, Elrang is almost finished with the multi analyzer there. It's taking some time, but it will, will be worth it. And it'll, it gives a 15% speed bonus to all the future research. Oh my god, again? A group of tribespeople. Two of them. Oh shit, okay. Hang on. Um, now we definitely need prisoner beds. Uh, I think we, we're pretty guaranteed to get one of these guys at least. So, how are we going to do it? Easily. Here's what we'll do. Watch this. Ready? Boom. Boom. And that is going to be Prisoner Bay 101. Jerry King, prioritize working on this. Diswalty, prioritize working on this. Let's go. Let's go get to work. Everqueen and Arang, you boys, you're drafted. You are going to fight them off. Arang's got his revolver. Everqueen's got a rifle. 
Are they attacking immediately? I probably should have took that into account. Yeah, they actually are. But that's fine, because they're going to walk through the human graveyard. And that's going to make them very sad. Um, or at least it normally does. Um, maybe it doesn't do that anymore. Oh, this one's an alcoholic. So we might... And she's got cirrhosis of the liver. Okay, so she's an actual alcoholic then. And we are going to need to kill her dead. Um, go stand behind these chunks. That will provide a little bit of cover. Although I don't want our windmills or anything to be shot, to be honest with you. Right. Here we go. We're in. Oh, good shot there. Where did she hit Lima? Right in the leg. That's where we want to hit them. No more headshots. Let's go. Boom. Where did that one hit? Health? Uh, in the shoulder. Oh, shit. She's ripping out a bit. Careful. That one's dead. Fuck's sake, you fools. That one's fleeing. Come on, take her out while she's fleeing. Oh, come on. You can do it. Yes, that's it. We've shot her in the leg. She's slowed down. Right leg, right tibia. Destroyed. Oh, shit. Of course, we get the alcoholic. Okay, she's dead. She bought some alcohol with her, though. Hey, celebration for everyone. Um, you guys can stop being drafted now. Uh, thank you for your service. Although, I would appreciate it if you, you know, didn't freaking kill the next one, you fools. Right, we get her to haul these. Uh, Prototype's hauling the dead bodies. Because she's the only person that can do it, seeing as she's a freaking psychopath. Oh, no. We don't have enough power to power the multi-analyzer and all these lights? Is that genuinely what's... Oh, my God. And I got rid of one of the windmills as well. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, right. This is the first time we've actually lost power here, so that's, that's my mistake. So what we need to do, oh, probably the sewage treatment as well is using 800 watts. This is using 250 watts. Good God, the sewage treatment is pretty intense. Um, these, these, we don't need to worry about. Um, huh, that's not good, eh? Uh, let's go ahead and turn off the... I want to turn off track and serve power a little bit. Some of these lights, I suppose. We do have a lot of lights, don't we? Um, turn all the power off on the lights. We'll, we'll live in darkness a little bit until the power's dealt with. Uh, shouldn't take too long. We should hopefully start building it. How much does each one use? 10 watts? And we had how many lights? 22. Okay, that's actually a, a pretty significant amount of power. That's 30. So, are we gonna... Oh, shit. We're, we're still discharging energy. We're still not making enough. It's because these windmills are fucking shockingly bad. There's no wind. There's no wind. Um, oh, they're picking back up. It's okay. Hang on. Are we gonna be alright when the windmills are actually working, though? Yes, we are. Look, they're starting to recharge. Oh, okay. I was worried then for a second. Okay, I think that was just a, a lack of wind causing the issue there. Oh, Christ. Like st lightning storm? Okay, careful, because that's going to cause a lot of fire. If that was close to our base, I would be pretty worried. But you know what? I don't think we have to worry about it too much, just because the fire will probably be get, get destroyed by rain or something uh, by the time it actually gets over to us. Although that is going to cause a significant amount of damage if we're not careful. Um, mainly, you're going to see a lot of cassowaries and elephants on fire, so let's not worry about it. All right. Um... I didn't realize power was such an issue then. After the multi-analyzer is finished, we'll start work immediately on, on solar. I mean, the only time solar panels don't work is when there is an eclipse. Um, which, which varies depending on the planet that you're on, obviously. Because, you know, you might have a big gas giant that you're, you're a moon of. And, and then it blocks the sun or some shit like that. You know, I'm just, just spitballing here. But they're, they're generally more reliable than wind turbines is what I'm getting at. So that was definitely what we want to work on here. Although, hey, the project to replace the house entirely with limestone is working pretty well. I, I kind of like that. Interesting. Okay. Peace talk quest. Marjot, Prime Council of the Communal Confederacy of Quaybron, has sent us a message. She wants to talk to us in a nearby location. Um, what do we want to do? Do we want to send Diz Waltney to negotiate with the hostile tribe that have been sending attackers? There's the nearby location. So, south of Yoshi's Joy Grove, in between Yoshi's Joy Grove and Thayer Forest here. Um... It's 12... How long is it going to take him to get there? That's the real question. Because he's obviously going to have to send a shit ton of food with him as well. Um, we're going to go from here to here. And that's going to take 2.3 days. Obviously, there and back. Um, so, we want to do a, do one back as well. So it's going to take 4.6 days in total. Um, hmm. I don't think it's worth it. Because honestly, right now, they're raiding us. They're sending enemies, which we can try and capture and convert. If they send visitors and we convert them, we're going to hate us anyway. So I think we're going to make a lot of enemies during this campaign. Mainly because we're also going to be putting them to death in our grand arena. Um, this is not drafted. Yeah, I couldn't care less about that. So no, we're not going to take them up on that. Oh, nice. It's rain. So that'll kill out all that fire. Thank God. Um, we don't have to worry about our farms going up in flame then. Good. We've made a lot of progress this episode. We've, we've, we've replaced a lot of the house with limestone. It looks a lot, lot nicer. Obviously, we've made a huge amount of research for this. We've almost finished the multi-analyzer. The arena has begun officially. We have started work on it. And you know what? This looks to be all, like, just stone, basically. Mountain that we can hollow out. We will need supports, as one of you pointed out. That's fine. I've got the support mod. I've got the structure mod. We need, it's like every eight blocks or something like that. So, we'll be alright. Thank you for watching. Next episode, we will return with... 
I don't know, building the arena, I suppose. Don't really know where I was going with that. And of course, shout out to all the patrons. We have Big Dick Timmy, Sean Thornton, Zachary Harris, Lucas Halting, Haydog, Croesus, Gabriel Vanders, Jocelyn Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Logan Thorne, Conspired C, James Ogilvie, Escape, Jackson Woodman. Uh, I've written Jackson Woodman 1 and I have no idea why. And of course, everybody else on the list as well, which seems to get bigger and bigger every day. Nathaniel Lindbergh, Brandon Matoniak, Necrophilin, Felix Deal, Princess Ugly the Dragon, Noble S, Quet Larchley, Zar Even, Facundo Vasquez, Paul Master, Imperator Augustus, Jack Allen, Chancellor Chief Palpatine, I am the Lizard King. Llewellyn Thomas, Euron de Vries, Euphrates, Dunkhoney217, Jordan Campbell, Asaran Sedini, thank you all for your support. I hope you're enjoying the series. Like I said, if you've got any mods you want to recommend to me, let me know, and uh, I will definitely add those into the game. And uh, anything that will help with the arena, that would definitely be something I'd like to see.